What's going on guys? This is Steve and here we go with a review from Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows issue number 3. So this review is from graphicpolicy.com and the owner of this review is by Edward Wendt. So Spider-Man is obviously one of the comics most popular characters but few perhaps take the time to consider why that is. Although he is super powered, he is also unquestionably still a street level character, not really all that capable of taking on bigger things traits but this ends up being part of his appeal as he faces off against anyone and everyone who is a threat whether big or small at the same time the character's popularity and characterization have made him one who is difficult to drop in team books although he has served as a member of the Avengers and the Fantastic Four it is usually under the auspices of getting a bump in sales from Spider-Man readers and not so much because he is a good member for the team there are dynamics which important to deal with in the mainstream universe is also one which can be easily thrown away in the new Secret Wars world and specifically with Renew Your Vows. So this series has previously established Spider-Man as one of the few remaining heroes in a reality where they have been wiped out by those in charge of the government. This same group controls the Sinister Six, a group that is now funded and willing to eliminate the supposed threats to the establishment. The series has previously Previously established the Parkers as guarding their identity safely due to the need to protect their superpowered daughter, but with her discovery near near they are also forced out of hiding. And as the midway point for the series, it seems as though the plot is going to get a lot more interesting. The series succeeds because of its back to basic approach, as does this issue, although the degree of Parker's use of violence is made out of character. The overall approach of the character here is one which feels like it could easily happen under this specific condition. So let's move to the adventures in Protest.com review and this review is by David Brooke again. So Spider-Man is a loving father and husband but lives in a world where heroes are outlawed. They are actually tagged and controlled and if they are powerful enough they are killed. The powers go to a villain named Regent and Spidey has been laying low over since the Avengers were taken out. Problem is Regent is is getting closer to finding Spidey and this issue shows us what it takes for Spider-Man to get back in the villain fighting business. So yeah, the strongest element of this story has been the relationship between Peter Parker and his family writer Dan Slott effectively sets up a story where Peter does the right thing by not fighting. Ah uh, yeah, so but there comes a day when your children grow up and look at you differently faced with a child who can efficiently judge you is a hard thing to swallow especially with powers that give you the ability to fight back last issue Peter's daughter was almost captured by the enemy and it's possible there's no more hiding for Peter Parker yeah so that's the thing and the two things are hammered home very nicely in this issue the first is how rigid forms Peter Parker and his powers it's made clear that spider-man's powers are unique and possibly more powerful than any of the other heroes yeah so and in an interesting concept and one I'm sure many readers will be annoyed by. The other is the fact that Peter is not playing around anymore. Much like how he killed Venom in issue 1, here Spider-Man does something to an enemy that vicious and unbecoming of what you can say the Spider-Man we know this two elements set the series apart from the usual ongoing and make it feel even more like a what if story. If you are a fan of the Sinister Six, you will enjoy this issue too. So that's it. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more amazing shows. Have a great day. Adios.